Slave Leia, or really Carrie Fisher, in this gold bikini sort of defined sexuality for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. I know there's me, a Friends episode about that. It was, like, you know, and it's it's kind of like it's weird how you sort of step into that world. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I, I dated women or, or that they reminded me of Princess Leia for oh, most of my life. I'm, I'm married to, uh, you know, a, a very beautiful brunette woman now. Uh, she's I've never I've never had her fight a giant. <laughs> Swamp monster like Jabba the Hutt. Ah. Well, if, not including <laughs> me. <laughs> uh, so now a lot of people obviously are coming in as Star Wars now, fresh for the first time, from a very different perspective. A lot of fathers bringing their daughters into Toys R Us to buy an action figure. We've got Rey, who's one of the coolest, probably female protagonists that we've seen in Star Wars in a while. Very empowering, very awesome. She's got this cool bow staff and this mm -hmm. sand gear, and she's she's out there rummaging, just looking for stuff to stay alive. She's a she's a powerful figure, you know. Like female females are 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 creative leads on Star Wars now. They're yeah. working on the games. Kathleen Kennedy is yeah, definitely they're working, working on the movies. That. That Kathleen Kennedy also said that the, the the Star Wars could be directed by a female at one point. So that being I said, she said a woman, a woman, yeah, a female. She didn't say a female. <laughs> That's We've captured one of the females of the species, one. and we put her in our uh, Sparty cloning cylinders. So that being said, uh, Disney is probably, or what we're reading, is they're sort of backing away from the Slave Leia motif. Yeah. Princess Leia in a slave outfit in a toy store is not really a good look when you're trying to move Star Wars forward. Now, it had its place in time in the 80s, yeah. uh, and there is a weird story to all that. I mean, Princess Leia is captured. Mm -hmm. uh, she does eventually overcome her oppressor well, by choking is, him to death until green stuff comes out of his right. mouth. Right. The whole, the whole costume is very much an ode to kind of like old old fantasy stuff, like yeah. Frank Frazetta, like Conan the Barbarian poster covers, you know, kind of um, uh, Heavy metal. Flash Gordon saving, the, saving yeah. the princess. Yeah, they're very much going for this fantasy art look. Uh, and it's, it's like a, it's an awesome like piece of a costume, but the fact that it was kind of like thrown in a movie, and they're not going to go back and like cover her up. Like yeah. probably, I really doubt they would do that. No. They're not going to go back and, and change... Return of the Jedi anymore because if they did at this point it will fall apart it will physically break the film will explode they, they added uh, enough garbage to the Jabba's palace but, scene anyway yeah but they're just kind of pumping the brakes on any kind of merchandising that's like hey go buy an action figure of this and it's like I'm totally cool with that. Me too. And I think like a lot of people, they, their knee-jerk reaction Because that makes that, my Slave Leia collection way more valuable. Exactly. But a lot of people had a knee-jerk reaction that this was basically uh, the PC police coming down on Star Wars and taking over and stuff like that. And I didn't, I didn't really see it that way at all. I see it as like that was a, a place in time where that was a character that existed. And they're backing away from it. And that's okay. Like, they, like you said, they're not retroactively ruining the movies or changing them or anything like that. They're just pumping the brakes on the mm -hmm. merchandise. It's been out there for decades. And this is official merchandise, mind you. You can still, I bet you with the rise of 3D printing in like five years, be able to go on Etsy and search gold bikini and you can buy a 3D printed gold bikini for someone to wear, presumably. You can go to any comic convention and buy dozens of like paintings and statues of Slave Leia because yeah. people will still make that. You but can see, you this can is see. just being like, hey, maybe it's kind of crass for people to walk into the Disney store with you know, their daughters who are suddenly excited about BB-8 and Ray and all that and be like, Daddy, what's that? You so know? I honestly, like, I don't think it's the, it's even the bikini attire because it's like, you know, in terms of mm -hmm. Disney films, uh, you know, like the Little Mermaid's basically in a bikini yeah. and wearing a shell for the entire movie. Right. Uh, but it's because she's a slave. Like, sure. that's the problem it's here. The chain, it's, the chain around the neck is definitely. Yeah, it's that word. Like, I have, I have a Slave Leia action figure on my desk. Uh, and she has a chain around her neck that you can tie to this Jabba the Hutt's hand. To be fair, that's her weapon. Yeah, she him. does use it to kill Jabba the Hutt. Uh, but it ultimately, it's it's not the best direction for the film. I'm glad they're doing what they're doing. Um, and there's plenty more things to be excited about for Star Wars. <laughs>